has been doing nothing but getting into it with black women. Did you watch? I speaks live. Yes, I that did. That man ain't protecting black women. If he can say the things that he said, if he can say the things he said about the mother of his children and his wife at the time, because I was still his wife at the time. How is that? If you can, if you can say those things about the mother of your children, I'm, I'm confused. Hmm. The mother of your children. The yes, woman. he changed when he got on social media. Y'all talk about I'm clout chasing. Y'all talking about I'm clout chasing when I never wanted my business on social media. Y'all talk about I'm clout chasing when the only thing I've ever done in most of my career on being on TikTok, and this ain't even really a career because I ain't come on here to get famous. I didn't come on here to make money. I literally started TikTok talking, just dancing. Trying to dance my baby out. Then I caught Bell Palsy for the last two weeks of my pregnancy. I caught Bell Palsy. I talked about Bell Palsy and how hard in finding out being pregnant, the things that you that you get into. Then I started doing makeup. Her makeup is good. Then I talked about postpartum depression. What I got a cloud chase for? This shit don't do nothing for me. At the end of the day, I'm going to get off here and I still got to pay my bills. I still got to walk out here and go to work. I still got to take my kids to school. I still got to do everything that I got to do underneath the sun to make sure they're okay. This shit don't do nothing for me. It really don't. She don't gain nothing from doing this, y'all. I just want y'all to been a make person. that clear. I always tried to stay to myself. But when you have somebody telling you, oh, watch what you say about your postpartum depression because it makes me look bad. Can I see your hair? Remember I seen you getting it done? Oh yeah, 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 King Baby. Do you know he said I would Do y'all know what it's like to get those phone calls? Begging oh, on the internet. Oh, you must be talking about your postpartum depression. Do you yeah, I am. Oh, somebody sent me screenshots. Watch what you say, because it's making me look like I'm a bad father. Who would be begging on the internet? You, Leola? You? So I can't talk about my postpartum depression, but then you can go on live and discredit my postpartum depression. Make that make sense. Okay, came out. To not shoot the green screen. Make that make sense. What sparked this? He went live today. Um, Y'all question Talks from a me. fake page. He went live today. Y'all question me if I say something. And talked about her. Y'all question me if I don't say something. Y'all question me if I go through the courts. Y'all question me if I don't go through the courts. Y'all question me if I'm public. Y'all question me if I'm private. Y'all. Who called him I broke? I don't understand Who called <laughs> Who called him I broke? I'm not understanding. <laughs> Ashley fucking messy bitch. At this point, I'll be the fucking villain. I don't at ever laugh point, at no nobody, but I... No matter what I do, y'all gonna look at me as the bad guy. But I should be laughed at. at. That nigga is a, such a uber bum. He's such a bum. That nigga a bum. Y'all constantly throw things on the women in, in the situation to make better decisions. No, this is Tasha. And to do this and to I do speak, that. I, I speak, but then y'all look at me when I... This like, is Tasha, Ni I speak 1906's ex-wife. Um, he's a content creator on here. This is ex-wife speaking out because he's been speaking on her all day, honey. So she decided to come on and air out her grievances. Hold on, let me turn it back up. And listen to this man after he done spewed the venom he done spewed about me, but say he protect black women and he an advocate for mental health. Man, y'all can fuck off. Y'all can literally fuck off. How many times have you seen this man argue with a woman and say to yourself, he always argue with women? Because he always, he was, like before I cleared him, he was always in my business. Claiming to protect black women and move like that. That make it make For sense. For real. And don't. Talk, listen. And nobody's saying that black women are not above accountability, but the way in which you go about that shit, the way in which you do that shit, you are literally arguing. And the crazy thing is my therapist asked me, my therapist said, 
Have you ever looked up the definition of a narcissist? Mm-hmm, child. I ain't never have a reason to. But then... He did. I don't know what he said, but somebody said he was in a live stream talking about me. Uh, this was months ago. This is the last time he talked about me. And I cleared that dusty ass nigga out and I told him to go brush his teeth. And I ain't heard from that nigga since, okay? He checks all the fucking boxes. Everything is about him. Everything is what, what works for him, how he wants to move, what he wants to do. If it don't benefit him, he don't care. Y'all tell me how many times I've been in the fucking limelight. I also want to say too, um, throughout what's happened over the past couple of years, at least personally with me, it's been multiple times where Tasha has come to me and said, friend, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. And even when I was a content friend, creator on I here, I don't think you were wrong for that. She was like, you know, I should have did this. You know, I hold myself accountable here throughout the situation. It's been things that Tasha has already held herself accountable for that we never had to say anything about because if she did something that was not right, she would say, hey, like, you know, okay, I wasn't right for that. And it wasn't, and we, me and, we always didn't agree over things. Like, I like 10 years. Just like, yeah, yeah, Tasha. I wasn't just like agreeing with her just because she's Tasha. Like, it would be times where I'm like, well, I don't really agree with that or I don't see it like that, but you know, that's my opinion. And I would say that. Like, my thing is we were all very transparent with each other. We don't stroke each other's egos. We don't tell each other things just because just because we're friends and we want to stay on a good page no like we're honest with each other the same way i am with y'all like yeah be honest with me like i want to be the best that i can i surround myself with similar people so tasha is just like that tasha has never avoided or escaped accountability if she's wrong she said it before I I, I've taken accountability. I've said it multiple times, even on this. He is, I've but I guess he's late. Five. I've said it multiple times. One, do I think he's 100% at fault for the marriage not working out? No. Do I have some fault in it? Yes. If marriage is a two way street, both people have to be on. The last two years, I would say, the last two to three years of my marriage, I checked out. I keep it a bean. I checked out. I mentally was gone. Mentally, I was gone. I did what is called autopilot. That is where you get up and you do what needs to be done, but you're not living life. You're not enjoying life. You checked out of it. You're, you're just at a point where this is what needs to be done. My kids need to eat. They need to be washed. They need to get to school. They need to be taken care of. I went into survival mode. So at that point, if he felt as though I was not supporting him or I didn't love him or I didn't care, cool. Cool. I probably didn't at that point in time because I was mentally exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted from the kids. I'm mentally exhausted from being on this island. I, I, I'm on an island for three and a half years. We got water issues. I speak, we is he black? Yeah, he's water black. In order to wash up, in order to brush our teeth, in order to cook food because jet fuel leaked into the fucking water supply. I missed my grandma's funeral because I was on an island seven months pregnant. I'm still mourning the death of my brother who passed away right before we had to go to Hawaii. She got a lot of death in her family. That's a that's a I'm dealing with the social media bullshit. I'm she need a she need so a cleanse. Much shit. She need a cleanse. She need a cleanse. She need a spiritual cleanse. That that's a lot of point, death. It's like let me just keep going through the motions. I wake up, brush my teeth. I'm gonna be honest, it was times I ain't brush my teeth or wash my or wash my ass. You ain't got that from him, friend. It's, it's, I'm Shut up. Shut up. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Depression kicked my ass. And is that a full excuse as to why I might have checked out of the marriage? No. He didn't offer shit, lying ass shit. He lying. She fed up. He lying. She fed up. Good for her. I'd be fed up, too. First of all, let's break this down. Okay. We got to Hawaii in February of 2020. In March of 2020, the whole island shut down. 
And when I say the island shut down, let's break this down. The island shut down. <clears throat> the difference between Hawaii shut down and the regular I, and the regular mainland. This is shut Tasha. Down, I speak 1906 ex wife. Hawaii was not allowing people in or out of Hawaii. So, sir, how she said was you offer for people to come if they couldn't even come? They put a stop hold order. They put a stop order. They put a stop order on military um, PCS. If you don't know what PCS is, it is a permanent change of duty station. They put a hold on PCS. My brother-in-law, my brother-in-law was supposed to leave in like March or April. They didn't leave until like September. Hawaii closed their borders. They was like, yeah, bitch. We, we, you ain't going nowhere. So you tell me, how you offering me to fly somewhere? She how you offering to bring people? He just be lying. We can't even leave. It can't nobody come in. So my husband can confirm everything she's saying because his best friend. You want to tell her? Uh, my brother, uh, the station out there in Hawaii. Okay, can y'all hear him? Yes. Yeah. Um, at, during that time, Tasha, when you had first was telling us about that, his brother is is there too, who's stationed in Hawaii too. When they did that shutdown, there was no way, like that was a complete and utter lie. Because he, yeah, he be lying. I can't say that enough. Like ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Miss Parker, <laughs> it is this me. man offered one time for me to fly off the Cheese island, dip. and then he looked at the price of what it would cost to fly me and three children off the island. About three racks. And he was like, I don't think I can do it. Because people was flying their family. People were flying their families off the island due to the water situation. He got the money. That nigga is broke. People were flying their families off the island. The water situation was 2021, 2022. The water situation, it was 2021 or 2022. I believe 2022, though. It was like the early parts of 2022, I believe. He broke. Actually, no, it started in 2021 and went into 2022. See, Millie, I don't know where that money went. Because I know he was away when it was happening. He was away. He was away when it originally started. When everything happened, when everything first happened with the water issue, when everything first happened with the water issue, he wasn't even here. He was in Louisiana or Mississippi. He was in Billings, Mississippi. She hasn't talked about this yeah, for two days. That's what it was. Today, he was, he her was in today, at the time. today, her ex husband got on live, and again started dragging her for filth and all this other stuff. And so she's coming online to basically defend herself. He said in his live stream that he was paying alimony, was paying child support, and that. He was upset that she took him to child support and he offered to like re have a resolution before her going to child support and he wants to give her $300 a month. She said, that's not enough. Can you do six? He said, no. So she took him to child support. And then he said he offered to take the kids for a year. She said, no. Um, and some other shit. But he never addressed the things that she wanted him to address. Like, why did he bring their divorce to the internet? Why did he invalidate her... Um, unaliving attempt um why did he um uh why did he have two packs of empty condoms in their car while they were married why did we just found out why did he have an only fans and didn't tell her uh why did he have a spicy twitter account and not tell her why did he accuse her of having um a whole lot of stuff y'all she was she going down the list of stuff he never addressed he talking about the money saying i did pay child support I did pay alimony but tasha never said he did it Tasha never said he didn't. Tasha said he just paid it late, but she never said she never got it. So he got on the internet talking about money. And she's like, what you mean money? I don't care about no money. I got the money. She said, why are you not addressing the other stuff? So that's what we're listening to. I don't remember. remember I think yeah, was, Tasha just told me to stop. I see how she going. <laughs> she just told me to stop. Look. Hi, you're with me. You're welcome, Jasmine. I bet the mac and cheese was dry. <laughs> It was. Girl, it was milk and noodles. It was milk and noodles. One of them, we thought they put spinach in it, but I think it was just burnt. 
One looked like a mac and cheese soup. Yes, he didn't even. He didn't even eat that shit, but brought it in the house. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I got the pictures of Caleb feet. I hope I didn't erase them. I would ever do with him is a brush your teeth live. Well, we all oh, know. that's crazy. <laughs> I've been trying, to, I'm trying to show people like this. What's a petty or pretty mamba? I'm so done with y'all. It's like it's mouth so it out. We got loofahs. I got extra. That's how I know people be watching my live. Because when I told that man to go brush his teeth, <laughs> it's been up ever since. I know it's my joke. I know it's my joke. I promise no more, Tasha. Because I know the niggas, they, they might not have said nothing, but I'm going to say something. Why your gums red? Yeah, I mean, because I think I erased the pictures because I got tired of looking at my baby feet. Like, the pictures would pop up for, like, oh, like, yeah. this, like, and Look, this is my thing. This is the type of Her ex-husband, I, I speak, 1906. the whole fucking time. <laughs> Not like, I got halitosis. Somebody said they was going to George Floyd, my child. He was, like, three to four months. Oh, not I gingivitis. Oh, damn. Like this is the type of stuff that I'm gonna sleep I so good tonight. Endure, like I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. My children. Hold on. Somebody made this whole fucking page. This was in November of 2020. This was November of 2020. This was probably the first incident that happened where my children got pulled into shit. I don't know how old the kids are. They're him. under 10. That's all I know. This around the time he started doing his social activism. I don't I don't wear makeup to bed. You don't sit over there and act like he called him every fucking day. You don't. You don't. I know I sent them pictures to somebody of Caleb's feet. His feet was so blistered. I feel like you sent it in a... I remember, but it was so long ago. I feel like it was <laughs> the in a enigma, The Enigma said, I speak, I speak, provided all the proof My that he didn't do anything she said. <laughs> <laughs> it was chemical burns in the fucking water. <laughs> yeah, I want to go watch it, but I'm, really, I'm downloading videos on my phone and I can't multitask to so turn my Wi Fi off. No, read re re what he said, Ash. Read re what he said. She said she provided, I speak yeah, has man, provided proof of all the, the all that he didn't do, anything she stated. Speech. So he said. <laughs> Reread the comments. I'm clear up space in my shit. He basically he showed proof he didn't do shit. Yeah, he like, I don't know wait, child. That man, that man is, is annoying. She married him, you know. Like I feel bad That's for That's the question you gonna have to ask him. Oh, he said he felt like. She said, he said he feel like he knew the marriage was over when I didn't support him or some shit like that. I don't know. Misty, reread like the comment. Something, You're, something to do with... Uh, Y'all misreading the comment. Reread the comment. You said, why do you all get on here and bash BM? What's BM? Thank you. It's uh, Keisha Cole. It's Keisha Cole bonnet. No, I didn't see the previous comment. Black men? That one a bum. <laughs> Why do we bash baby mamas? I would never bash a baby mama. I got to a point where my mental health, where my mental health became more important. First of all, once again, my 
exact words to him was, he asked me if I believed that he would be famous. Originally, I said no. And then I said, no, wait, let me fix that. It's not that I didn't I'm worried think about frat boys. famous. It's interesting. It's news. It would be what like happened? this. We're listening where to Tasha talk about her ex-husband. Dox us, where people are yelling at us, where people are posting my children with knives and gun emojis, where people are plastering us in the most negative light. So it's not that I don't believe in you. It's the fact that the shit that we are going through, it's a lot. Especially because social activism was never your original content. What was his original content? Social activism was not your original content, sir. You didn't originally come on this app doing social activism. You came on here doing poetry. Oh. Poetry. You came on here doing poetry. Your first video that went viral was your poetry that you did about whether no matter how your son is, no matter how your son is, you're going to love him. Speaking in reference to him being a part of the LG, whether your child is a part of the LGB2 community or not, you all of a sudden switched up to activism. His activism was not his original content. Oh, now that, yeah. And that's the part that's getting me. You said you are upset that I didn't tell you we moved. We only moved for two weeks while I finished paying for my apartment. I gave you the address of where they live and you were upset that I wouldn't give you the phone number. And the reason I would not give you the phone number is to keep the peace and not bring this lady in to curse your ass out. I said, you can go through me. But the funny thing to me is not a fourth of a story about me not giving you the lady number, but you didn't give me the the lady number who had my kids back in August. Oh, 2022. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. confused. As Petty Rowe would say, I'm confused. It's, child, he just he threw out a bunch of random ass shit. He did. Too. Like, the way he's trying to vilify us just because we ain't supporting you like how do y'all yeah. not see the all and then stuff? i don't know if y'all call i speaks live but he's like and for the people who are bashing me i i i, I don't expect you to respect me i you just bet but you should have some dignity to give me an apology nigga please <laughs> negro please ain't nobody apologizing to you otis Uh, not me, because I ain't said nothing about you, because I don't give a fuck. Still go brush your teeth. But uh, Kaylin and Crave Crystal are not apologizing to you, Dusty. Yo, Dusty. <laughs> well, I'm what you said. Ain't nobody apologizing to Dusty. Ain't nobody apologizing to that Dusty old man. Like, He's apologizing to them. Go! Like, common sense. He won't. He can't manipulate you. He needs to apologize to them, gu- them gums. Like, why, they, sense. why they bleeding? They've been on the phone with me when shit has happened. <laughs> Karen has been on the phone with me and in my face. <laughs> At all. Yep. Hey, AMT. Hey, Chastity. in a group text with them where he tried to tell her, oh, Tasha do exactly what I was going to go do. I, he literally text in the group, oh, um... I'm about to go tell. I'm about to go live and tell them that Tasha, that me and Tasha Hi, get a divorce. Hey, Shade. And she knows that I'm about to. Do hey, this. Kimchi. Crystal called me. Crystal called me and said, Tasha, you know, did you know he was going to go live and, and, and blast y'all, um, y'all divorce? I said, Hi, I Kimmy. Like, but I know that. No. She did not know. Hi, Debs. When, when he's telling you, we're about listening she to. Knew, I was going to I speak. Live, I speak 1906's ex-wife is speaking out because he just finished the live stream talking about her. Called her. I to call Tasha instantly. It was like, because in my mind, I knew that she wasn't okay with that because I talked to Tasha more than any of them. We would host our live streams together and be up for hours at a time 
together. I knew that she did not want that. So when he said that in that group, Hi, thread, I knew he was lying. But I called her to be sure. I was like, hey, did you know? And instantly she got upset because she did not know. She did not know. That is a like He keeps lying and telling people that she had no clue. I was, in, I was in the makeup class. I was doing the makeup class. Hey, and my friend Shima hey, um, Miss Realize. went live and said we were getting a divorce. Shima did not say anything. Shima talked to Mizzy. I think it was Mizzy and Shell that was it yep. Mizzy Shell and no, He recorded her phone calls. I hope she doesn't have any non recorded calls. Shima talked she to said the, she doesn't. the rest of them and told them what was going on. Essentially, they decided. Essentially, they decided not to tell me. Which, rightfully, as real friends in the middle of a makeup class, I'm not finna tell my friend that shit either. Because nine times out of ten, my friend probably about to cry and quit. So I got. All, I finished the makeup class. I went live to talk about the makeup class. Now, mind you, I still didn't notice. I didn't find out that he went live about the divorce until what? Eleven o'clock at night. I was mm. talking about my makeup talking about hosting another class and I was putting together Natasha. some shit for my kids. Yeah, I, re I remember this shit like yesterday. So, I so we, were, we were doing a say, makeup live and we didn't want to ruin Tasha's moment because Tasha goes, was going through this thing where every time something good was happening, he always kind of like shut that down. So we were like, let her have this moment. She was happy having a good class we're not gonna tell her until after yeah later that night um she found out and then the live stream was january 1st if you want to look it up on youtube it's the full live stream it's it's like five hours it's long as i speak it was on january 1st 2023 the nigga did it on a new year trifling because he was afraid that his wife told petty row about the divorce so he wanted to get ahead of the story but she never told anything to petty row so he exposed their divorce on the internet in front of like five thousand on the seven it was the seven thank you in front of like five thousand people and baby i'm nosy because i was there okay and i watched the whole thing snitching on himself snitching on himself oh i got a match on bumble snitching on himself cold and then Throughout the whole live stream, instead of just saying, hey, me and my wife are getting divorced, fine, whatever. Then he goes on the uh, the defense and starts just attacking his wife. Like, oh, she tried to unalive herself. She's not a fit mother. Um, she, she, her unaliving tip is fake anyway. They didn't pump her stomach. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo, blase skip, broom, broom. I, she, she was really bad with our money, so I cut up her debit card. Financial abuse. Then I say she was a gold digger. She she got on live after her makeup class. I watched the whole day, y'all. It was a whole day's worth. She got on live after her makeup class. She said, honey, you drive a 96 Ford Explorer. What gold am I digging? She know how to clear him. She just reserved herself because she was married to him. But Tasha always had that ammo in her back pocket to clear him. She know how to clear him. She know him better than we do. I, it's easy to clear him because he's a bum and a dusty. But she know how to clear him, honey. She The way she cleared him, but... Let's listen in, okay? Well, uh, she went on Blam Live and was like, oh, well, if anybody's gonna accept an award on I Speak 1906 behalf, it's she gonna did, be Songbird, she did. And my supporters was like, why would you if his wife right there? Fuck them. Why, why, why would you accept an award on her behalf, on his behalf, if his wife is there? Tasha, I just want to slide this in real quick. I think it's ironic that us, your actual friends, are snakes, but the people that befriended you to try to get to him are not snakes. That got we're, talked to you, acted like your friend, acted like they gave you a safe space. They're not snakes somehow when he's getting some kind of benefit out of it. I'm not going to say he slept with anybody. I'm not going to say that. But somehow when it benefits him, if they're giving him information and maybe if they are popping some twat. Kaylin don't know when when it's that. I then don't it's know. Cool. Let's get into that, though, because that's Death Princess was Tasha's friend until she Supposed wasn't and she was messaging Anthony some freaky stuff. So 
Maybe she popped that twat. Go on. No, I mean, what? Well, well, let's go. I don't even know what the point is. Tell us the messages, friend. Um, one of the messages was um, that uh, I'm lucky to have a man like him, and she wants to be in my place. What? Oh, I got another question. Since we over here talking about stuff, can we ask uh, Mr. I Speak 1906 what happened to that $10,000 that he apparently supposed to have took out um, from the Navy? that was supposed to help me to move that I never got? Because I signed off on some paperwork that he was supposed to take $10,000 out to help me. I, I remember signing this shit. Javion, you wrong for that profile picture. <laughs> Not him pocketing in 10 racks on her name. I just want it was to understand. I don't know if it was out against his retirement. I don't know what it was out against, but he took, it was something he requested. I think it was from his TSP. I hope that's the right thing. His TSP, he requested $10,000. I had to sign the paperwork. He had to sign the paperwork. And the reason he put on the paperwork was that, um, was that, um, it was supposed to be, um, for me moving and getting myself situated. And she's not lying about that. She definitely. And I think also in that text message, he mentioned that ten thousand dollars that I never saw. Not him. Who keep unpinning that? Not yeah. him stealing. Right. Nobody, nobody's <laughs> apologizing. I just want not him for clarification. There will be no apologies. Not him stealing ten thousand dollars from her. On what we have been saying. Oh okay. yeah, no he, apologies he, on his side. Yeah, you can nitpick at what you think Tasha was wrong at, but at the end of the day, you doubled down on the terrible things that you did. And you literally continue to show us. If he told her, it is theft. If he told her, hey, I'm going to take the, this $10,000 out of my TSP to help you move. Just sign off on it. And she signs off on it. And she don't get the money. Nigga, that's, that's shysty. It may not be fraud or, but is that not shysty? You saying that's not shy? Okay. You say, you, y'all, whoever in the comment, you saying that's not shysty? That's uh, I speak text wife, Tasha. You saying that's not shy? That's shysty. I'm gonna fuck with this money. That's grimy. Thank you, Henderson. That's grimy. <laughs> not, not I <ice> scale. <laughs> That's shysty. I don't give a fuck how TSP works with Obey. I don't give a fuck how it works. I don't care what TSP or what it is. I don't care what. She might have be confused about where the money came from. But if he had her sign something saying, I'm going to use this money for you, that's fucked up. I know you. I know for a fact. And I don't know who you are. You seem like a nice lady. I'm going to cut you some slack, cut you a break. But I know you're not in here trying... I know you're not in here trying to condone being shicey to the, the the bitch of your three kids. I know you're not in here. I know you're not in here condoning that. So I'm gonna just pretend I didn't see what I just saw you post, okay? And we just gonna we just gonna call it a bean. How about that? I'm gonna just pretend I didn't see that you're totally okay with a man stealing his wife's signature to say I'm gonna help her. To not help her with three kids, okay? I'm just pretend you didn't say that, okay? I'm gonna fuck about what program it was, okay? She signed off on it. He said it was for her. He never gave it to her. Right at that day, he got himself primp and prepped. Wash them bowls. Wash them mm. teeths. How come they don't get in trouble, but I get in trouble when I just be trying to be honest? <laughs> like, don't be honest. I don't care what program it is. Truth, Tasha, like, all right. Remember, Tasha's not in the <laughs> military. She's not going to know every alphabet letter, okay? She's not in the military. She's not going to know every single alphabet letter from where... She's not going to know that. She's not going to know that. Stop play, trying to play semantics in the... Stop trying to play semantics in the comments. She signed off on something. There was an agreement to it. She said she has the text messages from him. He never gave it to her. Point blank, period. Stop saying, oh, well, it could have been this OHI program. Or the NAACP program. She just got the program wrong, so he's not wrong. I don't give a fuck what program it is. Stop doing that. It's, be it's language like that 
That's why shysty men get away with stuff. Because y'all want to play semantics about ABC agencies in the military. Stop doing that. Stop. Lying is lying. Thank you. I hate when you bitches come in here doing that. I hate it. I hate when y'all do that and come in here. Y'all will do anything. Y'all will literally break your own elbow to allow a man to do trifling stuff to a woman with three kids. Y'all will do anything. Y'all will literally jump off a fucking building just to prove your point. Like, instead of just using common sense, like, well, his wife's not in the military, so she's not going to know every single alphabet agency within the scope of the military. So she might have the program wrong, but nonetheless, it was still messed up of him to take her signature and take that money. Y'all will literally jump off a building just to prove your point because she didn't know which alphabet agency it came from. Right? Like, please. Like, I just be like, y'all, do y'all hear yourself? Like, I mean, honestly, I'm asking honestly, do you hear, do you hear yourself? Instead of saying, oh, regardless of what it was, that's pretty messed up. Regardless of what it was, that's, that's a, me that's messed up that he would do that to her. Instead, you want to argue semantics of over an alphabet, some alphabet agency that his wife don't know nothing about. I know it'd be piss up here in y'all head. I know it do. I've never heard of I know be that don't I know be pissed right here. Brain's death. gone. Uh, just sorry, piss. Unalivings and such. So, you know, just, just saying. Just, just gone. <laughs> just straight and nothing. See, here's the thing: what y'all don't realize with him is just, just nothing up here. Whenever he feels like he's losing his support, he has to do something to just get birds. back in good grace. Nothing. For example, just gone. He chewed my back out January 7th and then he made an apology video and then right after he made the apology video he came and asked me am I going to put him on child support and at the time I told him no As well, actually if you want to be honest I gave him fair warning I said hey he said are you going to put me on child support I said no I have no wherewithal to put you on child support as long as you do what you are supposed to do for them when you fuck up we're listening to I speaks ex-wife Tasha yes you're going on child support somebody said I tar build up this I tar tar build up I've been calling him I tar tar build up Crystal Crystal why you look like him right now <laughs> Hold on, number two. Let's let's break this down. Number two. Um he did not come, he did not grab the kids so I could properly grieve because he said he had to go home. He had to get home for getting in trouble, right? But then when he got home, he set up the camera, put the little blue light on, was in the kids' bedroom. And was sitting on the floor, Trey saw him crying. I and saw that in the, in the uh, in the caption of it, he put Tasha, something like, I speak oh, this new beginning, uh, something different about, I don't know. He put something. He put something. He put something, but he had to set the mood. There was also an issue where he decided to record my children and he had to cry. He set up a tripod with the one kid. Well, I speak. The, He's a content creator on the app. The tripod with the one fucking kid that don't even like being on on camera. If y'all know anything about my children, y'all know my middle son, my oldest son, does not like cameras. If you get a high Kayla, if you get a high TikTok from Kayla, baby, he in a good mood. She possibly, I, because be she could possibly take it on a court. Now, again, I'm not an attorney. I just pretend to be one because I'm an armchair lawyer. If you don't know what that means, look it up. But um, as an armchair lawyer, like internet lawyer, I'll tell you this. That is an agreement. It's an agreement. Um, if he wrote it on that legal document to get that money out, like this money will be used for my wife's moving expenses. And he never... And, and he needed her signature to sign off on however, wherever that money was allotted at to get that money out. And he never turned that money over to her. Yeah, that's fraud. That's that's fraud. It's fraud. It is. 
if he did not need to disclose what the money was for, but simply needed her signature to do so and told her, hey, I'm going to get this money pulled out. I just need you to sign off on these documents and I'm going to I'm going to give you this money to help you move. That is also fraud. If he just told her, hey, I'm going to pull this money out of my account. I don't need your signature or nothing like that. I'm going to get the money out to give to you. That's just him. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Just perping. He was just he was just saying something just to be polite. But if he did not need her signature and he did not need to disclose to whatever government agency that why he needed that money, if he didn't have to do none of that, that's not fraud. That's him just, he just perp faking with her like, oh, I'm gonna give you this money. I'm about to go get it out. Then that's just him just being a dishonest SOB. But if he required her signature at all, which she stated he did, and he disclosed to her or that agency why he was withdrawing that those funds, that is fraud if she never received it, Okay period. No, she said it was not a PPP loan. She said it was something. She thought it was through his 401k or through his retirement account or something of that nature. She didn't know specifically where that money was sitting, but she knew that it was specifically through the military. She did not say it was um, a PPP loan. I don't. I don't. <clears throat> Uh, really fun. But got you. if it's gonna get him clicks and views, he gonna press it. You ain't got no money for your kids. I should got a PPP too. You ain't got no money for your kids, but you out here buying chef costumes. I don't need to post my kids for people to know I'm a good mom. I don't need validation, so I'm not gonna post them every chance I get. When mm -hmm. the very few times I have them, and I say few, not saying that I have my kids 24 seven, not unlike him. I'm saying, y'all know, every time he has them, he makes a video like that because he's proving it's all about it's all about public consumption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not them posting the screenshots. I'm catching the coochie cramp. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha, she she's sick of him. Look at the screenshot she got up of him, y'all. <laughs> Tasha needs to stop. Fake crying out. Seeing seeing videos like this is what makes me mad. Yeah. <laughs> because one thing for sure, two things for certain, I never stop you from seeing them. I want you to come see them. I want you to enjoy time with them. I want you to be around them. I, I want all of that for you. I know what it's like to grow up without my dad. I know what that's like. So why would I in turn want to do that to my children? Day. Baby, come get them. I know that's her, her best friend, Shannon. We know. In the arms of the angel. <laughs> I thought they reached. It was like, they oh, reached. they're not going to let me take leave for spring break. I thought but they I, reached they you me take how to, to survive to off little to nothing in the military. I thought they taught you or, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they do or not. hotel room alone. That was five days ago. Yep, that was when he was last here. I can tell y'all the exact dates that he came to visit. And Tasha, what happened? Um, the you first unfollowed time him, Kayla. When he came, what did he do immediately? Okay. He, the first time he came. Oh, oh, the first when he came to see them in January. This was what? What's the holiday? What's the three day holiday in January? Martin Luther King. Uh, what, what, is um, that Martin Luther King in January? Like, it, it might Martin be. Luther King. Or I think it's Martin Luther King in January. He came MLK. So he came and got them around MLK. I go to open the door to my brother's apartment and he got the camera out. He got the phone on the ground recording. I know you lying. Did he got that? the phone. On the, he had the phone on the ground recording. I know he had you. to record them. He had to record them. I just feel like if hey, you Monique. gotta record everything, that just shows how little you really do. That's all I'm gonna say. He had the phone. He had to record them. Are y'all surprised? No. Yeah, yeah. I give the uh, gift to Tasha. Make sure y'all send her a gift. I get in the tea. Get a give a gift. He, he had the phone. I yeah. the and want to hear something crazy? I, I'm not trying to sound. I'm not trying to sound like a conspiracy theorist. I'm not trying to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but. 
I've tried. I don't know if it was Tasha, but I've, I've, I've only spoken to her one time. I've tried to cash app her before. And it says, it's, it's like it comes back. I'm curious, and this is just a theory. I'm not saying it's true or not. But I'm curious if he's blocked a number of people from cash apping her. I'm curious. I'm very curious if he has done that, of blocking people. from. And I feel like that would be his M.O. That feels like it's right up his alley. Because I remember one time it was, she was on live and it was her son's birthday. And they was, she was, she was like, oh, it's his birthday. And people were, people were gifting her and stuff. And I gifted her, I gifted her. I think I gifted her like, it was, it was like a 5,000, it was like a 5,000 diamond gift. It was a nice gift. And I gifted her and then I went to cash app her. And I think I cashed after like one time, like, God, maybe five or $10, nothing crazy. And then when the whole divorce stuff happened, I was like, oh, I'm gonna cash app her again. I wanted to help, I would, you know, and I couldn't do it. It was like this person, it was like some weird message. It wasn't like you're blocked, but it was like, can't cash app this person. And I was like, I've, and I, I had to go through. I was like, I'm pretty sure I've cashed up this her, the, her before because I remember it was her son's birthday or something like that. And I was like, Does, did he block people from cash apping? I always wondered that. I always wondered that. I never reached out to her and asked her, but I've always been curious. Like, and I'm curious. I'm like, did he do that? Because I know a, a, probably a ton more people probably have been trying to cash app her and probably not, you know, you know, I was just always curious about that. Now, <laughs> you know, I'm getting on my damn nerves. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm just curious if, like, she knew that. And I've always wanted to reach out to her and ask her, but I keep forgetting. But now I'm going to remember. I'll DM her, like, can you see if I'm blocked on Cash App? You know? I'm just always, I've always been curious about that. I never knew. I just always a conspiracy theory. I, left I was like, why would she wouldn't? I said, I don't, Tasha don't seem like the type of person to go through her cash app and block blessings. I, she don't seem like that type. But that nigga do. And I only have one cash app. It's nosy by standards. It, it matches the name. My cash apps, all my cash apps are the same. So I was curious about that. You said, he's mad that people care about her, helping her get on her feet. Because he mentioned that in the live tonight. He mentioned people cash apping her he's like oh she just goes live for cash app and gifts and stuff and i was like mm, you sound like a hater sir remember this one time yes we talking about uh gab gab g-a-b goofy ass bitch they know him as big Reese, sis i'm sorry that's what you have to say that cause that's what they know him as we need to, know, it, it makes open. sense though like his his name is saved in my phone is goofy ass bitch aka gab because that's all he likes to do is talk he likes to hear himself talk. Gobble. When he get real mad, he. These are cute, this. huh? They're going to break. Y'all never seen him do that, like. <laughs> and it's like, boy, put that finger down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Thanks, grower. I remember this one time he yelled at me about the way I mopped the floor. He yelled at me about the way I mopped the floor. He was like, "You didn't even mop the floor right. You spot mopped." And yelled at me like he was yelling at me like I was a child. And I was like, well, from now on, you mop the floor. Tell him mop his ass. You mop the floor. And then I would ask him to mop the floor. And then a whole week would go by and the floor wouldn't be mopped. Like, this, this, this is what I'm saying. This is the shit behind closed door that I fucking endured. But I didn't say anything. No, she didn't say nothing. And I, re I remember when she kept mentioning um, mopping the floor and it's been like a week after the fact and Tosh still had to do it herself. Thank you for the gift, guys. Oh, uh, friend. Friend, we remember the, this was the first time I think you had COVID. Didn't you say by the start of you having COVID and at the end, didn't you say the kids were still wearing the same clothes? He got mad at me. I think it was like three, I think I was like three to four days in to me having COVID and I text him or I called him on voice on, on FaceTime. And I said, um, I said, can you give the kids a bath tonight? I was gonna give them a bath tonight. First of all, three, three to four days shouldn't even have went by before they got a bath. Four days. 
Good many games shouldn't even have went by before they even got their bath. That's how you know he don't wash his own ass. Hell. Like, you always trying to tell me how, what to do. You always talking about your kids, your kids, your kids. Like, I don't know how to do nothing. And I was like, well, I seen they still had the clothes on, so I just asked. Like, that's crazy. Like, don't bite me. Like, I'm not trying to be, I'm not, and not everything be meant to be funny. Like, sometimes I be serious, y'all. He don't properly wash his ass. He can't take care of three kids. Tasha, I speak's like, ex-wife. He, yeah. Like, y'all. And all they ate was Wendy's. Let me add that in there. Because he don't know how to cook. That's why he eat noodles. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, Tisha, is he on live right now? He on there crying? I seen you say he was crying. Yeah, I know how, like, when somebody comes Ooh. sit next to you and you get a... Not me with a violation. <laughs> oh, my God. Who reporting a live, y'all? Don't do me. Don't, don't do me, y'all. Hold on. Do not do me, y'all. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm trying to see if he's live. He's not. Peach is live. Okay, he's not live. Somebody thought he was live. He's not live. Why'd they be a messy for? They don't be a messy. A they just supporting their friend. He snaps on Blaze about certain things, but he does it too. So you snap on Blaze about, oh, Blaze always in Blaze always in the uh, basement. He always in the basement. Okay, you're always in the, you're always in the garage. Mm -hmm. Yep. A lot of people clocked that. And not only that, oh, um, a lot of this. Don't tell me this kid. Neither do you. Right. So, yeah. and, and my thing is, I don't, I, I don't even talk about these people. I don't bring these people up. But you're getting mad at, like, oh, Blaze said he made a hundred k. Sir, you said you made a hundred k. I'm confused. But Blaze took his family to Paris. <laughs> You remember, it's on his page. He took his... Come on. I know Blaze's wife is a travel agent, but still. He took his family to Paris and London. And remember? I can't remember, but he was... Yeah, they went to Paris and it was gone for a long time. It was like the quietest week. He was gone for like a month. They were like all through Europe. They spent like a month in Europe or something. It was a long time. And he took them kids too, all them kids, the little Brady Bunch they got. He took all them kids. And it was, was it not a quiet month? It was so peaceful, wasn't it? But Blaze, that nigga travel, does he not? Does Blaze not travel? And you can say what you want to say about Blaze. He take his kids far and wide, okay? Them kids, them them little them little nuggets got passports and they've seen the world. So he can say what he want to say about, I didn't know he was saying that about Blaze, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've seen when Blaze was in Paris and in London with them kids. It was kids everywhere. He was just, a, kids just attached. You can say what you want to say about the man, the man take his kids places, okay? And let me break this down. Yeah, he is a good dad, he is a good dad. And Disney. He asked for the divorce. Blaze, listen. I was pregnant Say with you... Kylie. Oh, hold on. And yes, I'm about to break this down. Yes, I was pregnant with my daughter. And at the time, listen. we had some friends staying with us. I go downstairs to get me some Oreo cookies. Now, as a pregnant woman, don't touch my shit. Don't touch my shit. I go downstairs, I eat whole rolls of cookies, okay? Captain I went screen, downstairs, got my milk. I had my big old cup of milk. I had my cookies. No, not when... Cookies. No, I not about the... cookies. There was four cookies in this Not when he pack. had a summer home, when he was... when he. he there was it's on his page, girl, go look. Pack. He was in Paris. So, as everyone started to come into the house, I'm saying to each individual person, hey... I don't know who ate my cookies, but y'all owe me some cookies. And I said y'all because I wasn't trying to pin it on one person. Unless somebody was going to tell me who did it, nobody wanted to tell me they did it. I know I didn't eat for it. I know I didn't do it. Why? Because I eat whole, whole rolls of cookie at one time. 
If I open a fresh pack of fucking Oreos, trust to believe it's three rolls. One of them rolls gonna be gone when I'm done. I'm not. I'm not leaving for cookies. Anyway, as they came in, I said, "Hey, I don't know who ate the cookies. Y'all owe me some cookies." Everybody said, "Cool, we'll get you some more cookies." He comes in, and I said, "Hey, I don't know who ate the cookies, but y'all owe me some cookies. I don't fucking owe you nothing." I bought the cookies. Okay, but you bought them for me. You owe me some cookies. Somebody in here owe me cookies. And if y'all not gonna tell me who ate the cookies, then as a collective, y'all buy the cookies. I don't owe you shit. I don't owe you nothing. I'm not buying nothing. To your pregnant now, wife. Now mind y'all, there is about two to three other people in here while we going in. It went from ha 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 about the cookies to Whoa, Tasha, I speak's ex wife. I said, all I'm saying is, yes, you bought the cookies for me, but they were bought for me and just replaced them. I don't care who bought them, just replaced them. I don't care who ate them, just replaced them. He got angry. He said something. I said something. I said, you lucky I don't call you what the fuck I want to call you. He said, you fucking won't. I said, all right, bitch. Damn. And then I Tap the upstairs. screen. And I went to the room. He came running up the steps behind me, banging on the door because I locked it. Did you say it just like that with the emphasis on the B? Or did you sound like bitch? Or did you say bitch? Did you do that? No. Like, I was like, lucky I don't call you what I want to call you. He said you fucking won't because he hates when somebody calls him a bitch. He doesn't like when somebody call him a bitch. He gets very annoyed with that. I said, you lucky I don't call you what I want to call you. He said you won't. I said, bitch. Why she keep saying it? Shut up, girl. She gonna get banned. I said, bitch. Let me turn it down. Cause she gonna she keep repeating it. We're listening to Tasha. I speak's ex-wife. Sounds like their relationship turned toxic. Baby, that relationship was toxic when they got in it. I'm sorry, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but some people you should Sometimes it takes relationships like that for you to pick up. They give you all the signs. So you, when you enter in your next relationship, you don't end up doing it again. You understand what I mean? Like you don't end up doing it again. So, but discernment would have stopped her before the wedding. You know what I mean? Discernment would have stopped her before the wedding. Okay. <laughs> That's my favorite word, bitch. I found out later on down the line. I found out later on down the line that uh this guy named fry who was staying with us ate my cookies but everybody was scared to tell me who ate the fucking cookies because they knew i was gonna snap <clears throat> i said bitch oh, gosh tasha switch the story i need her to get a, a, a thicker vocabulary <laughs> before she get banned okay blessing or a lesson well it's not my marriage so i can't tell you which one it was so I can't tell you if it was a blessing or a lesson. Unfortunately, I can't do either. I could just tell you, take it how you take it. My cookies. Both of them. somebody is going to tell me who ate the cookies, y'all as a collective owe me some cookies. Sure, she's still talking about these cookies. ate my damn cookies as a pregnant woman. I could not eat a lot of stuff when I was pregnant. So what I could eat, we kept in high demand. That's it true. Because when you're pregnant, baby, you can't eat nothing. You cannot. You cannot eat anything. Even the the some of the best um what's it called? Um prenatal vitamins, you know, because it helps with the nausea and stuff. Even the best prenatal vitamins on the market still does not stop you from getting sick from this the sight of stuff. You know what I mean? Just the sight of stuff be like <gasps> Just look, just thinking about it can make you hurl, you know? You know? A lot. What? <laughs> Tosh, can we please, just for kicks and giggles, tell them what I tried to get you to do? And I, I said that I would offer to get no. you, I offer to get your nails done. No, no? all right. No. That's all happened. Oreos, Parkers. She said it was Oreos. Like, I want to know, text it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be close. I right. feel like no behavior his behavior did not change until the third kid. Mm. 
I feel like his behavior did not change until the third kid. Previous to social media, was Anthony always on social media? Yes. He was on like Instagram, he was on Facebook, but not like he is on TikTok. TikTok gave him a platform he did not have previously. I don't give a fuck what he talked about. Um, and you can see this based off of his Facebook page, based off his Instagram, you can see the difference in the support. Um, previous to all of this, I would honestly say he was he he was the he was an amazing father and an amazing fucking husband. He took Kylie on little dinner dates. Like me and him went out for Valentine's Day, but he also took Kylie out for Valentine's Day. He got her dressed. We got her dressed. He pretended to pick her up, like from like he knocked on the door and everything. Like she was like, I think she was like two or three. We put we got her dressed with a nice little outfit on. And he knocked on the door, pretending like he was picking her up on a date. He took her out to eat. Um, when when she was first born, he would be doing the dishes. He would be doing the dishes with her. I'm so mad I don't have my Facebook no more because I I deleted, I deactivated it and forgot to reactivate it before the 30 days. But it was videos of him taking her out in the snow. It was videos of him having her in a little carrier thing while he washing the dishes and she falling asleep. It was videos of them knocked out sleep together. It's videos. Well, of, she did like, say that because he missed the heat She heat did heat say heat. that she found you know, condom boxes in their car, so he could have been seeing someone. That's possible. You know, he never addressed Everything it. Everything changed when he got on social media. Everything changed. So, mm. yeah, I would say before, previous to, to social media, previous to Cairo, he was great a great father. I'm sure he was. He was an amazing father. You couldn't tell my daughter did not, my daughter was a daddy's girl. She was a daddy's girl through and through. Ew, and I hate using that terminology after, ugh. Girl, I don't even like using that. What's up, Duchess? I saw somebody called him Martin, Martin Tutha King. <laughs> I saw that. I'm sorry. That, uh, if, y'all ever, if y'all ever noticed, I have never shied away from answering y'all questions. I have never shied away from turning. I've never turned my comments off. I've never done any. He didn't have his comments off today. I'm he always do sheet. that. I'm gonna talk Thanks for tapping sheet. the screen, say, you guys. I, I just want to say we talk shit about him because he talked about our friend first. So. Yeah. How are we blocked? How are you going to see what we're saying if you blocked us? Right. Mind your business. And can I also say, like, just for everyone, this is a very, 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 very good example of just being careful who you do follow because if you guys remember what's that guy named Derek Jackson yeah. and how he was pandering and doing all this while being a terrible person mm-hmm. that is what is happening a lot of men on here are using especially black women who follow them for views and money and all of that but they're a terrible person they are literally fresh and fit while telling fresh and fit that they are terrible for what they're doing yes. yeah, that's your brother that's your twin that's your twin. So please yeah. watch out and be oh. careful. It's true. Yeah. They so be just right like them. Here, oh, she's sewing something. This was me before I got married. This was me um, before I got married. We look like twins, sis. Oh, y'all do look like twins. Where have you been? This was July. This was July of 2015. July 23rd of 2015. I was on a bus. I got on... I got on um, uh, Megabus. I got on Megabus at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. So packed up whatever little bit, packed up some stuff in a suit. I packed up, I think, a week or two worth of clothes. I packed up a week or two worth of clothes. I got on Megabus and I bust my way to Virginia to go be with this man. 
at 4 30 in the morning i was on a bus busting my way to oh, this man not a bus honey <laughs> and i told that man i showed you that i'm serious about this working now you gotta show me i said i bought two weeks worth of clothes within that first week she chased me i had a job within the first week of me being there i had a job She delivered him cat. Her first mistake, T. Tell him. You're not going to play with me, sir. I'm sorry, Tasha. Baby. You got on a bus. <laughs> you got on a bus to go be what? <laughs> you know what? Y'all might be made for each other, okay? <laughs> it was August 13th of 2015. That was the day before we got married. We went to Cheesecake Factory. Because, bitch, I'm going to go to Cheesecake Factory. I don't know about nobody else. I'm confused. I'm wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She got on a bus. And then a day later, they got married. Why? Was it a was it a military marriage? Loving me and being committed the fuck to me. She blocked you. That's that's what you get. You oh, was over there talking means shit. Nothing to me. Oh, they were long distance, maybe. Okay. Nothing to me. If you're not gonna honor these vows, I don't give a fuck about the ring. And I told him that. I said I don't want a ring. We went to Cheesecake Factory. He surprised me with a wedding ring. But listen here, y'all. What it look like? Listen here. He borrowed the money to buy the ring. He borrowed the money to buy the ring. And he only had $50 in his pocket. $50? So at the Cheesecake Factory for $50, we were supposed to get a meal for two people. But I'm a gold digger. But I'm a gold digger. Not the split. This is the type of things that he has said about me. He has said I'm a gold digger, but you had $50 to your name and you had to borrow money for the ring. How much was the ring? <laughs> was it more than the dinner? Was the ring more than dinner? <laughs> was it... The... Did you split the meal? Yeah. <laughs> so... Another person that was at the restaurant saw that I said yes and that he proposed to me and they paid for our meal. Our meal was over $50. <laughs> so y'all wasn't budgeting when you was looking at the menu? Our meal was over $50. We got married at the Justice of Peace. Will we spend a hundred dollars? I think we spent a hundred dollars, fifty dollars for the fucking fifty dollars, fifty dollars for the, the 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 marriage license, and then fifty dollars for fifty dollars for the fucking what you call? I'm confused. Fifty dollars for dinner. We got married. I was twenty six, twenty seven. No, he was twenty five. I was twenty, almost thirty. He was twenty five. I was almost thirty. But some suds, I guess. Say what? She older than him. We got married at the Justice of Peace, $100. My dad paid for our, our wedding meal, which was IHOP. Yeah, that was my wedding meal, y'all, IHOP. <laughs> we moved into our first house August, August 19th of 2015. We slept on the floor for a good week or two. She, we slept on the floor for a good week or two. Tasha, baby. Because we ain't had no money. T Tasha, baby. We was eating oodles and noodles. Tasha. And we was eating ramen. We was eating ramen. Tasha, baby. And canned meals. Tasha, girl. Bitch, shut up! Tasha. <laughs> <sighs> so when you 
you sit and you call me a gold digger, sir, I struggle with you. I struggled with you, but you when you had nothing. But you came to the struggle on a bus. You, you weren't struggling. <laughs> Tasha, Child, girl. I'm still trying to figure out where that's at. Tasha, girl, you was you, but you wasn't struggling. You can't. He, he don't even know where that gold is. He talking about she a gold digger. He don't have. He he can't find the gold himself. Tasha, you came to the struggle. Oh, Tasha, girl. <laughs> he volunteered for the struggle. Tasha, you wasn't even struggling. Baby, you wasn't even struggling. You came. You came to the struggle. It's a diamond on them. <laughs> I can't. It's, I'm. I'm not and trying I'm to be cute. I was happy with it. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was happy with whatever I had. I was happy with whatever he got yes, me because I, I was I like, didn't like the flashy stuff. I, like <laughs> I would have went to the grave. I was on happy. That. I was like, I got me. You know, I'm getting married. I was happy. I was getting married. And you she, couldn't have beat that confession out of it'd me. It'd be the small things. I feel like when we really care about a dude, I mean, he could make a, a ring out of foil. You just love him so much, and you you just want crystal. Shut up. That's Lillian. She said, "Is that the ring?" <laughs> she didn't show it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I, I was I was wrong for asking. Well, it, it you was want to their diamond on that. <laughs> I couldn't. It was a little. It's a good I stack. Know, it, it is hard to tell. I promise I wasn't being funny, but Strong. I just feel like <laughs> the way I feel is that Tasha. That's so cool. That's cute. Mom, now that's nice. That was your pretty. Mama, your mama she didn't show it. I didn't see it. The baby shower that my mom paid for, and we got into an argument on the day of the baby shower because he didn't like something that my cousin said. My cousin said to him. Oh, my cousin introduced him and was like, oh, this is um, Anthony, um, the, the the husband. She said it like she wasn't sure because she never met him in person. And he took that as, oh, why is she questioning and like, I'm not the father. Said, What's what? up, uh, L L Lada? Oh, What's up, Lada? She said something like, oh, this is Anthony, the child's father, the, the, the baby dad, or something she said like that. And he was like, why she questioning me like she don't know I'm the day? I said she never met you before. She never met you before. You, you that thinking that she's saying uh, Tasha, I speak sex You're wife. thinking that she's saying it in an ignorant way, and she's not. Right. He his pride is so easily hurt. Like and it's, it just goes to show like he's so insecure and his pride is so easily hurt. Like Yeah, but she kept having yeah, kids with him. She came to the struggle. Where y'all was pretending to be. Hey Kita, she came to the struggle. She came she just admitted it. Did we all not hear her admit? Did we all come on? We're not about to play twenty eight karat gold crazy. We are not about to play. 28 karat gold crazy. You know it's crazy because 28 karat gold don't exist. We're not about to play 28 karat gold crazy. Did she not just say she took a bus to the struggle? Okay. <laughs> what story did he tell to make her catch the bus, honey? She was 30. He was 25. He could have just told her, come on with the come on and get down with the get down. And she was, she was on that bus. And I guarantee you she bought the ticket. We not about to sit here and play crazy like she didn't tell us her life was great and then she took a bus to the struggle and 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 never made that man prove himself to he didn't want to it's clear he didn't want you that's why you came to him and not the other way around you came to him you came to the strong. You came to him. He was basically like, if you're not coming on this bus, then it is whatever. And she was like, oh, let me pack my shit and go. He didn't even lift a finger. So what? He wasn't listening. So what? That don't mean nothing. He could have came and got her two weeks ago. Shit. Come, don't miss me with all that. Oh, he was enlisted. So what? Niggas listen all the time. Okay. At 4 30 in the morning. Miss me with that. He ain't got no money. He probably pawned it. 
I ain't, I ain't seen my ring in so long. And y'all know, even while we was going through the divorce, I wore my ring. <laughs> now he pawned the ring. Okay, y'all know like a how when you in fraternity, cause he's, oh, he's in the fraternity, bro. Right? Oh, I'm happy to see him. If y'all happen to see one, somebody with, with a ring on that look like that. It was stolen. <laughs> I feel like he pawned it and not giving it to somebody else. But I'll like you know how like how you do like the strides that he be doing, like he do the strides. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever thought about like taking who a said, wipe? Who and, said like, I pawned? Wiping his neck, the back his she neck. She said. She said. Like, she said. Like, did y'all not hear what she said? She said she had been wearing the ring even through the divorce. And in the midst of packing, leaving the mainland, leaving Hawaii, headed to the U.S., she hadn't seen her ring since. They said they think he pawned it. Did you hear? Right, it's a stroll. It is a stroll. Oh, uh, he, but I What's think, no, the way, but I don't think he, he stroll for it because he do a lot of, you know, more jumping around when he does his thing. But when he do his dot <laughs> ring, I'm shaking my you head. thought about running real fast and just wiping the back of his neck. Not 17 fast, minutes, like, friends. You can, <laughs> you can humble him. You can, when he talking to you crazy, you can humble him like that. <laughs> like, just wipe his neck what I when least expect it and show him it's brown and that'll humble him. No, he he is a stroll. You talking about his stroll? So he does <laughs> stroll, but when when so, okay, so with certain songs, the energy is different. Cause when I see him, he okay. I see. I, I think it has to be a line. Yeah. So if he if you ever want to see him stroll, stroll. One mm -hmm. of the biggest songs that you play is um, Ti. Bring him out. He goes stupid, hype, crazy about that song. Okay. Y'all never seen a kid that was like, look, 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 look what I can do. And they spin around in a circle. I struggled. Like that. Where was the eye pawn? It's like, look at me, look, 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 watch that. That was funny. And they spin in a circle. <laughs> you know? the Stewie. Stewie. Who said eye pawn? Stewie. No, now Crystal, me and you was about the same age. Mad TV. <laughs> Remember Mad TV? Yeah. Please tell me. Please tell me y'all remember Mad TV with Stewie. Mom, He didn't smell bad at the blammies. He was just really wet. Mommy. He was. He was sweaty. He was moist. He was. He was drenched. Like, keep, why y'all don't like telling the truth? That man is greasy. Just here's the thing. Greasy. When I tell, it was literally like somebody dumped a bucket of water. On, when I tell y'all, his shirt was transparent. I'm not being funny. I'm not lying. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I. I'm getting serious. His shirt was transparent. Cause he got an iron and deficiency. That's why he be sweating. He was all of, I told y'all he came in here jumping like but a kangaroo. In defense, Kaylin, in defense, it was hot as shit in that gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah, my wig sweat off. My wig is sweat No, dead ass. At the Blammies, it was hot as shit. Because if y'all remember. Y'all know uh, Diamond was at the Blammies. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know or no? Do y'all y'all watch uh, Black Diamond's morning show? She was at the Blammies. Go ask Diamond. She left. She, she texted me. She said, it's hot as hell and I'm leaving. She said it was ghetto. She said no. And she left. She left. She I think she stayed like 10 minutes and she was out. Y'all didn't know Diamond went? She went and walked yeah, out. Diamond sure don't play that. She not that tight. She not that tight. Uh, if she don't like it, she leaving. Girl, they asked come perform. Yeah, she was there. I would have been sick to my stomach. It was hot. And <laughs> the thing was, to, to be fair, I think what my problem was, I that was my first time wearing a wig and I didn't know how you were supposed to do it and the worst part was that it covered half of my forehead and y'all know I'm a lot I got a lot of forehead so when I got on live to talk to y'all all I seen was some pink showing because that's what a makeup cut off my, and it was like every every time we saw her it just kept pushing back it kept, it kept pushing but back <laughs> but see guess what Kaylin had her makeup front on deck because Kaylin went in the back Kaylin went in the back where I had my makeup shit we talked. Yeah, first, first of all, she walked past me with the wig in her hands. She walked past me with the wig in her hands. Right, so what ended, she did, yeah. She okay, said it was so really what hot. ended up happening was they cut the air conditioner on too late. The air conditioner was supposed to be on when we first got there. It was not. By the time we recognized that the air conditioner was not on, people had already started drinking. We was now filled up with a bunch of ninjas. And if you and if you think about it, we all attract the heat the fuck to each other, and we drinking. And the, so uh, it was a bunch of windows, like 
Yeah. The building was, it was mostly there. windows and all that heat was coming in, yep. like through the windows. Matter of fact, hold on, I'm gonna pull up a picture. So y'all yeah, got to like, it, was, it was like big windows. They weren't small. Kaylin no, got a picture that she I got a picture. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Coochie yeah, my lymph nodes are swollen. Yeah, this lymph node is swollen. So and it's irritated. With you. you have my anxiety up. I was like, it's the no, cat like literally, like, literally, it was nothing. Like, the sun was beaming. Mind you, it had just stopped raining not too long ago. It just stopped raining not too long ago. So, you know, after it rained, it's hot. So, like, like, the sun beaming I'm, through, I'm like, it was, a, it was a lot, but shit. Um, Tasha, I speak hey, ex-wife. Huh? I'm trying to see what Kay been at. We've been inviting her to video shoots. Oh, Kay. Kay, we've I'm been sorry. Inviting her. Look, we've been inviting Kay to video shoots every day. Uh, y'all, I no, want to show y'all. Caitlin started off with a long-ass bust-down wig. Oh, hold on. I'm going to show y'all. We're slipping. By the end. That's you? Hold on, let me know. She won't catch her wig in her head. Indeed. I'm taking out these braids while I'm at it. I couldn't do it. It was like, and it was, it wouldn't stay back on, y'all. I tried. There's probably humidity too. Y'all, go look it up. Go. All you gotta do is, all you gotta do is go into TikTok search and type in Blam Blam Blammy Awards Atlanta and all the video, y'all. The videos probably it was hot in there. The windows were sweating, honey. The windows were sweating. Man, it was. I'm trying to find. Oh. Have you ever Petty Row was there. Your breasts smell like queef, and I still loved you. <laughs> but it's an award show that was from Something TikTok. Something is really wrong. Okay. I still loved you. This is this was. Oh wait, let me make myself big for a second. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, is it like this? Okay, here we go. <laughs> if y'all can see. Oh, you might got to turn your screen, turn your screen oh, you down. Okay, hold on. Let hold on. Y'all can kind of see it. Y'all can see that, 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 uh... Okay, I didn't know I at that point, but it was sliding. But let me show y'all. She so was this going is, live, and it was just moving further and further back. So y'all see how all of that back there is just window, yeah. all window. It, it was hot, and it was hot. We were in Atlanta. It was hot out there. All uh -huh. windows. Friend, you can leave me right where I'm at. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was it was nothing but windows. They were supposed to turn the air conditioner on before we got there. They didn't. By the time they cut it on, everybody had already started drinking. Everybody had already arrived. So it's like it was August in Atlanta with no AC. When settings are already hot, it it, it just didn't work. Daddy. Yes, How did we become. <clears throat> Okay, so how do we all become friends? To be honest, Kaylin and Crystal, uh, I started following them. He was already mutuals with them, and I started following them because this big head ass girl who was always talking shit just kept popping up on my For You page. That was Kaylin. Yeah. It was Kaylin. Like, this girl just kept popping up. And I was like, oh my God, who is she? Like, I like what she's talking about, but who is she with this big ass head? Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he was already, and I had mentioned her to him. I was like, oh my God, it's this girl I follow. Like, I like her content or whatever. And I showed him her. And he was like, oh, I'm mutuals with her. And I was like, oh, cool, whatever. Crystal, I ended up seeing, I think the first thing I seen with Crystal was a video where she was like, um, how old am I? And at the time she was 30. I think she had just turned 30. And I was like, ain't no way this little, this little, this little bit is 30 years old. She looked like she's 20. One. It, like she looks, Crystal looks like a child sometimes. <laughs> so I like, ain't no way she's 30. But then I was listening to her talk. I And I was like, I like her too. So I'm going to follow her. And then he was like, oh, yeah, she my mutual too. That's um, embarrassing. Don't tell nobody that. <laughs> Just tell them we met from the street. Tell them that's how we met. Don't tell nobody we and met. And then Lizzie, I don't remember how I met you. Oh, I know how I met you. I met you through uh, John T. Live. Mizzy was a uh, moderator for John T. And I don't know, we just started following each other. And then when Kaylin followed me, I cried. Are you serious? Like, yes. Girl, listen, I cried when Kaylin followed me, when
when Crystal followed me, when Conscious Lee followed me, when T. Nathan followed me, and when I cried when Lockridge followed me. I mean, I know a lot of people don't fuck with her no more, but I, I cry when all y'all bitches follow me. And I want to make like, it very Ooh. clear. I want to make us very clear. We follow Tasha because of Tasha, because of her personality, because of right. her aspiration, <laughs> because of her being the mother. She has had nothing to do with this man, and that's what he hates the most. <laughs> He hates that she has a support system. He does. He hates that, that we fuck with her. That's the truth. It's a figure of speech, like Steel. It's not real. Yes, it's a, I did follow him. I started following It's a figure of speech. You know, it's like I, I, she was emotional. It's not literal. I found Tasha but he hates that. He lo All of these people are his mutuals, you guys. They were his friends first. They were his friends first. What's up, Courtney? And then they saw his wife. They're like, well, you know, I follow his wife, too. Turns out they were closer friends of his wife than hers. You know? Mm. Well, now they're just talking about their friendship. So I think I'm kind of done listening to this. She, I think she done dragging this bum. Well, Let me see. I guess nobody else is live talking about anything. Ooh, that was that was one. Woo, child, what a ghetto, <clears throat> what a ghetto mess, what a ghetto mess, what a ghetto fucking mess today. You missed it was good, Jay. It was good. So if you guys don't know, I speak 1906 eye scam or whatever you want to call him uh, went live today to talk about his wife and his child support and his alimony and then his wife got on live and cleared the air like wasn't nobody even talking about them two pennies you keep rubbing together bum do you have allergies yeah I have seasonal allergies <clears throat> but my eardrum was irritated from an airplane and it caused ir really bad irritation it caught my lift note is swollen it caused irritation and then i went swimming which probably made it 10 times worse so um I, i've taken antibiotics it's gonna feel a lot better in the morning he gave me a z-pack honey i'm like clear this up quick he said literally two cents in the kid's account why would you show that i'm just like why would you show that why would you show that why would you show that yeah then he pawned allegedly they said he pawned his wife's wedding ring, honey child. That's what the streets saying. The streets saying I speak pawned his wife's wedding ring. Y'all heard that, right? I'm not. I'm not saying stuff to spread rumor or controversy, but y'all heard that, right? Right? That she says she think he pawned it, and the ten thousand dollars he made her sign off on that he never gave her from his four hundred one k or something like that, or a relief fund or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much she got. She I, she never showed the ring. I never saw it. But honey, child, honey, child, a ghetto, all around ghetto mess. Y'all thought yesterday with um. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Omar was bad, honey. Tonight was worse. Tonight was worse. You see, he needs to be ashamed. Bring back shame. Shame has been back. Some people just pretend they don't see it. Shame ain't never left. Shame has always been here. Okay, some people just, they be like, I don't see that. Blind to shame. But shame exists. I think he didn't think Tasha was going to have, was going to have no money. What is? What do you mean, Shannon? I think he thought she wasn't going to have no support. I think he was jealous of the support she got. That's what I think. I think I think he was jealous of the support she got from her friends, um, from, you know what I mean? That's my opinion. He said, which means court going to be fired. He, he, that nigga not coming to court. Neither. And Tasha might come, but I don't think she will. I, I don't think she will. And he definitely won't be coming. So if he do, I guess it'll be interesting. Like she got money by herself doing her own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because why bring up gifts and cash apps? Why bring up your wife's, your ex-wife's gifts and cash apps that she gets? Why do you care? Or were you jealous? I need to know. I think she did pay for the bus ticket. I didn't know she was 30 and he was 25 when they got married. No wonder kind of explains a lot i'm not opposed to like you know 
know, like dating younger guys, but th their immaturity shows. You know, their immaturity shows. No. Okay, sorry. You said my ex friend tried to keep me homeless and broke, but I have family support and she kept, she kept what? Hold on. She kept what? She kept bringing it up. Oh, he's performative. I can't watch him for long. I can't either. His, his, I can smell his breath through the phone. <laughs> he said, I cut off a younger guy last week, immature as hell, and don't know how to communicate. Mm hmm. He said he just turned 30 a couple weeks back. She's who I speak is over 30. Did he? He was 25 in 2015, she said. So he would be turning 34 or 35 this year. Something like that. No, he didn't just turn 30. <laughs> you said what wait, hold on. Oh, my bad. You said what got me was him sitting on the floor in the room on the camera crying. She she blew me when she said that when he came to get the kids the first time, she opened a door and he had a camera on a tripod. <laughs> I would have slammed the door in his face so hard. Do you know how hard I would slam the door in this nigga's face? If I open a door after not seeing my ex-husband so he can come pick up these kids and a nigga got a tripod. A tripod? Bruh. The way I would have embarrassed that man. She was too nice to him because he would have he would have been got embarrassed. She was too nice. She was too nice because he would have been got embarrassed. She was too nice. She was too nice. Cause he would I would have embar I would have embarrassed him so bad. I would embarrass him so bad. He needed the content. No, he didn't. Don't nobody watch his shit. The man got 1.5 million followers. When was the last time he broke a million views? I broke a million views yesterday. Just for just for shits and giggles. When was the last time I speak broke a million views? When? I'll wait. <laughs> it's nothing to break a million. It's nothing to break a million views. Every day I try to break 5 million views. That's my goal. I hit a million views a day. I didn't do it today because I was getting my hair braided. But I can break a million views a day. That's nothing. My goal every day is try to hit 5 million. If I hit a million, I'm like, okay, that's great. Fuck it, I hit a million. 5 million is the goal every day. So what was the last time that man has broken a million views? And I do that for fun. I can piss and pump out a million views. Do you understand? So... No, he was not posting. Like, if he was really trying to take videos of his kids for 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 content, where is he posting it? Because no one's watching it. Because, yeah, because I'm not using... Listen, if I had a dog, I wouldn't use my dog for content. You understand? I'm not using my dog for content celebrities embarrass themselves enough on the internet that's enough content in and of itself why i gotta show you my life y'all see my life when i'm getting my hair braided or when i'm on live stream you guys get a glimpse of what i do which is really nothing my life is really boring i tell people that all the time they don't believe me but like if your life's so adventurous no it's not it's really boring okay i do exactly what you guys do except you get to see mine and i don't get to see yours but i'm not posting my kids or my dog or my goldfish for content I would like to think that my goldfish wants a little bit of fucking privacy. So if I would give my goldfish that standard, then why are you not giving that standard to your kid? Give your kids privacy. Let your kids be private, you know? So no, he can post about other stuff. He ain't got no other stuff to post about because he ain't got no niche. <laughs> goldfish clout. I mean, I'd give my goldfish that respect. Like, oh, maybe my goldfish just wants to spin around in a bowl all week. It don't, maybe it don't want the internet knowing it spins in a bowl all week. You know, like, 
she opens the door and the nigga is filming the kids. You should be telling her where her ring, her wedding ring at. <laughs> Why are you worried about filming the kids? Well, she's gonna give that woman her wedding ring back, man. Not you pawning a wedding ring. <laughs> I can't even say it. Wedding ring. I'm thirsty. I would kick the tripod. I would have slammed the door in his face. She'll get that shit out of here. She's too nice to him. Even when she's mean to him, she's nice. Even when she's mean, she's nice. Right in that nigga's face. If you don't get off my front porch, you bum. That's what I would say. If you don't go go home, drive back to Virginia, come back and try again. And next time, don't bring a tripod to come pick up these damn kids. She she ain't had it up to here yet. She's 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 only right here. And y'all like, oh, it's juicy. She cutting up on him. No, she not. Wait till she get it up to here. She, she only about right here. She not. He not on her last nerve yet. He not on her last nerve yet. He not. That's why she play nice to him. She's just in his arena. She's pissing him off in his arena. His arena is the internet. She's just stepped into his arena, but she only right here. Because why are you still answering his phone calls? You got the whole internet on your back, Tasha, ready to support you. Baby, say the word. Say the word, Tasha, and baby, we're going to get you a lawyer. Say the word, Tasha. Just say it. Just find you a good attorney out in Philly and say, y'all, I need your help. I need to take this nigga to court. We got you. Take this nigga to court and let us watch. Just all, that's all she, she knows she, she knows she do. Say the word. I'm definitely giving a hundred dollars. Say the word, Tasha. Say the word. Just say it. Just say it real quick. Just say it. Just be like, hey. When she ready to say it, the, the wallets are going to open up. Because you know how many niggas ready for her to just take this nigga to court with a really good attorney? That's all she had to do. Say the word, Tasha. Say, just, say the word. We, got, we ride at dawn. We, <laughs> we ride at dawn. Cause that's all she got to say. She know that she got she got a lot of power and he don't like that. Tasha got a lot of power and he don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like that. Tasha could go live right. This is so funny. She could go live right now and be like, "Yo, I need five racks. I need five thousand dollars," and she would get it in an under an hour. She would literally get it in an hour. He hates the power she has. She has literally sucked his, his, the way that he was able to vacuum up cash apps and all that. The way she's able to suck that, he hates it. Because she's honest and genuine and sincere. He's not. At least he proves himself not to be. But if she called right now and says she needs to raise $10,000 right now to relocate, get an attorney, and take the nigga back to court. She would get, she'd bust that out in about, I'd say hour and a half, hour, hour and a half, but she would get it. She don't ask for nothing because she it's not about money to her. But she know I just need her. I just want her. You know. You says we're the people who don't have kids don't know how child support works. You don't have kids, SK. You said genuineness will always shine through. It do. It do. It do. Genuineness always shines through. That's why the nosy bites. That's why y'all never cancel me. I know for a fact I'm a genuine ass bitch because I know I'm funny, but I'm also honest. You know. So I speak and his wife Tasha. They were live today, and so I know for a fact because the, the nosy listen. The nosy bites saying they ride. Y'all ride for me. I know y'all be riding for me, honey. And I'll be even doing nothing. I don't even be doing nothing. I'd be sitting around minding my business, and y'all be like. Because when you're a genuine person, when your audience loves you, and when you're good to your audience and they're good to you, they go, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to, you know, they're going to treat you right. I treat y'all right. Y'all treat me right. 
you know i ain't never needed y'all to bail me out of jail but i know for a fact that if i was in jail and i and if i was in jail y'all know there was a good reason i was there and y'all would bond me out <laughs> i know y'all would and i appreciate that thanks tammy i appreciate that you know you said i have a child and i know how it works she obviously doesn't tasha has three kids by i speak and she just put him on child support i i think tasha knows how child support works <laughs> you gotta be out under an hour you can't get me out in 10 minutes for him <laughs> you can't get me out in 10 minutes for him i know you gotta be booked in process i know but i appreciate y'all but yeah y'all that's all i got for this evening um i'm just saying y'all can't get me out in 10 minutes like step first we have to figure out what county you're in i know yeah i got five on it okay kita i appreciate that if y'all was a job help y'all you said why would she do this to herself well it takes two to tango z dolls it takes two to tango you said under friend <laughs> okay i appreciate that under an hour under an hour okay not you gonna visit me uh-uh i need you to let me out Y'all, I'm in jail, not prison. I don't need a hundred dollars on the books. <laughs> not a hundred dollars on the book, y'all. I'm in jail, not prison. Okay. Thank you, uh, Am Amt Love. Thank you. Now start a petition. Y'all buy myself out. Damn. Can I just trust one of y'all niggas? If I if I give you my pin number to my debit card, can I trust you to get the bond money out? Dang, I'll buy myself out. Sheesh. I'll buy myself out. I see we having issues in the chat. I'll get myself out. Can I trust one of y'all with the debit card number? <laughs> Dang. Dang. So I, I got five or five. That's not going to get me out. Dang. I'll buy myself out. Just go Just go get my debit card. Damn. Just go, just go, just go get the debit card. Dang. I'll get myself out. <laughs> Damn, can't, Nick can't help me do nothing. But y'all, that's all I got for y'all. I gotta get up early for the news. It's Saturday and I'm having dinner tomorrow night with some friends. We're having hot pot. I never had Korean hot pot. I hope it don't get me sick like that Korean barbecue did. I threw up something fierce. And then I spent the whole night starving. So tomorrow I'm having Korean hot pot instead. But tomorrow we'll be up for the news. Y'all, keep your eyes and ears on the streets. Let me know how it goes. Um, I need to go lay down. What time is it? 9.30? Oh, yeah, it's, tough. it's my bedtime. I got to brush my teeth. <laughs> I got to go brush my teeth. Um, y'all have a good night. Stay out of trouble. Okay? Thank you for joining us on this live. I'll see y'all later. Good night.